All right, I have something a little fun for you today. Actually, I think it was fun. I'm still reading this book, Christianity and the Doctrine of Non-Dualism, and finding some wonderful little tidbits in there. I never thought that when I was talking about religion and Vedanta and all of these things that I would run into a reference to Jason and the Argonauts in Greek mythology, but sure enough, today is our lucky day. So he starts by saying here, describing the moment in time that we've been working on. The present is therefore not part of time, since it's always outside of time. It is not of this world. This is why, at the state of these reflections, we took care to specify that each moment of time there is the world and, simultaneously, an eternity without succession, which is not other than himself, God. The true present is, in fact, that of eternity. It does not pass. Oh, what, a, <laughs> what a cool idea that is, that somehow wedged infinitely small between the past and the future is the present moment, which is outside of time, which designates eternity. And then he goes on to make this reference to a Greek myth mythology called uh, the Simplides, which is these two large stones or two large sea cliffs that are blocking a passage in the Black Sea, on the other side of which lies the kingdom of the dead, the kingdom of the blessed, a, a place that's described in poetry as being beautiful beyond words. But you couldn't sail through this strait because the two sides would crush you between them. And so Jason and the Argonauts decided that, that they have to get through this strait somehow. So they fly a dove of peace through the strait, and the dove flies through and just and, and comes out the other side just as the two cliffs clash together and catch only its tail, do, uh, tail feathers. And so Jason and the Argonauts realize exactly how long they have in order to pass through that set of cliffs in order to get to the other side, to the other world, to this land of beauty beyond words. And our writer here is saying that he thinks that that, that is a play on the idea of one cliff is the future and one cliff is the past. And we are having to, to needle thread our way through the center to focus on the moment, to be in the moment. We have to enter into the moment in order to enter into eternity, in order to reach that land of the blessed, the land of the dead. And I thought that was so fascinating to mix actually what seems like a video game into real life and to, to, to look at the prospects of us being able to come into the moment to leave the idea of the past, all of our, our attachments behind, and to leave the idea of the future, all of our desires behind, and to thread our needle of awareness through this past as it tries to trap us between our attachments and our desires to prevent us from entering the eternal moment and coming to that land of realization, as it were. So there you are, a little bit of fun today where Christianity, uh, Jason and the Argonauts, some early Greek mythology, all come together to tell you to be present, that the way home is to be fully aware.